time! Yay! <laughs> Being on Tinder really was an experience that I never ever want to relive. And um, the people who get married from Tinder, I just want to ask you, how the hell did that happen? I don't mean to bash Tinder in any way, I just, in case I get sued. <laughs> Dumb question, can I ask you something personal? Mamma mia! The disability, were you born with it or was it an accident? I got cerebral palsy because it's a condition from birth. And he replied, Damn, I feel bad for you. <laughs> so I put, why? I'm not dying, I just can't walk. And then he replied, not just that. I mean, what, are you just trying to point out that I'm a failure? That's really good for my uh, mental health. Thanks there, Ben. Yep, I can't walk. Not just that, you can't do anything else, Emily. Thank you for that. Ben, you think he would have stopped there? <laughs> but Ben carries on. He says, you can't swim, you can't cycle, and you can't run. My first reaction was, have you ever heard of the Paralympics? I felt like sending him a link, like... I carried on typing and I was just thinking, oh, where is this going? Like, is he just going to give me a 200 mile long list of the things I can't do? Is this part of the plan to try and woo me over? Because it's really not. <laughs> Can I have your number just in case I need a lift? We'll pay for sex. First of all, just didn't make any sense. So, me being me, obviously I can't reply something like, that's really offensive, please go away. I replied at 7.39 in the morning. I suppose that's one way to lose your virginity. Are you going to after school club today, or is it a 3.30 pickup? So he put, off to work, me mush. Obviously from Swansea, says it all. <laughs> I asked him, again on the Swansea theme, where do you work? Studio 95? Obviously not getting the hint that I'm about as interested in him as a hedgehog is in playing Tetris. Up for paying me a visit, there are you. And he said, I'm sure they've got an elevator there for you. But he spelt elevator E-L-I-V-A-T-O-R. <laughs> <laughs> elevator! <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with spelling elevator wrong, but don't make out you're all cocky and then you can't even spell elevator. You should have just put lift with. <laughs> What's the wheelchair story? Sit back. What's the face story? <laughs> and someone just messaged me saying hey, um, but it was underneath the photo so i thought okay hey hi thanks for that i know what i look like thank you um and then they asked me what do you do in your spare time um they didn't have a profile photo so i didn't respond um and then two days later they replied saying are you actually in a wheelchair do you actually have two legs so this guy said hello and i didn't reply so then, he decided to say, stop faking it. I replied to Rory, don't act like I'm going to have to stop faking it when I'm with you. So he then replied, not get in my drift. I'm going to shag you so hard, you won't be able to walk. Now, are people stupid or is my wheelchair invisible? Ding, 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 we got one I always get. Can you sit on my face? And then I replied to, can you sit on my face? I would, but the dick on your head might get in the way. <laughs> Is that wheelchair yours? No, no, it's just a local pensioner's. I just robbed it from the old people's home, mate. Oh, someone said, are you the real Slim Shady? I replied, yeah, I'm cleaning out my closet. Can you move? <laughs> wheelchair again what is it with people asking me if i actually need a wheelchair what do you think i'm gonna do just go down bloody the local hire shop and say hello mate yeah i just thought i'd borrow a wheelchair for tinder are you in a wheelchair 
or is that just a photo? Are you in a wheelchair or is that just your photo? Yeah, 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 I've just edited it in, just got a bit of Photoshop going on, yay! Weird question, but how do you have sex? There it is! Do you like Limp Biscuit? Now, if you think I'm just going to sit down and take that comment, Daniel, you are wrong. I ain't taking it! I ain't taking your crap! Nope, I'm not! So I message, I know where this is going with like six dots. Chocolate Starfish and Hot Dog Flavoured Water, their best selling album from the year 2000, is my favourite. You ask me if I like Limp Bizkit because you want to go in with a rolling comment. I've seen you from 2000 miles away have that. I then said, do you like NSYNC? Bye, bye, bye.